Hey guys, what's happening? So, I thought I'd show you this new board. It's actually been out for a while, but there's not a lot of videos about it. It's a MKS DLC 2.0, and it's a durable uh, CNC, or like laser cutter engraver board. So, it's not actually, the documentation is not very good about this thing, but uh, it res basically runs an Atmel 328P, and I'm going to be replacing my other board which is an MKS Gen L that I was actually currently using. Couldn't get the pulse with modulation to work right with that board, but this thing actually runs the Atmel 328P and that runs the Atmel 2560. Um, there's just not a lot of good, like very good durable support with the 2560. The development's not up to date, but uh, the cool thing about this DLC 2.0 board is that it's actually a clone of the uh, Arduino Uno with the RAMS 1.4 or RAMS 1.6 board. So it's basically just a, a RAMS board and a, an Arduino Uno in one package here. And there's some actually pretty cool features why I got this over like the uh, Arduino Uno and the um, RAMS 1.4 board. But one of the cool things is that it already has support for the uh, TFT 32, 28 and the TFT series boards of MKS. You've got the AUX1. So my printer actually already currently has it, excuse me, my laser cutter up there in the front. I'll show you that when we get to it, but another cool feature is that it actually has a lot of different outputs here. Spindle motor, laser, uh, built on power. But one of the actually the really interesting features here, which I really actually do like, is it actually has dual Y. Dual Y outputs right there. So you have your X, Y1, Y2, and the other Z. I'm not going to be using Z uh, because I'm using a laser cutter. But if I was actually running CNC, you'd want the, the spindle to go up and down. But um, let me show you this little box I made. I designed this in Fusion 360. And it'll be on my Thingiverse page down below. But uh, yeah, I designed it specifically for this board. And it goes like right there. And I also created little uh, zip tie mounts for, for cable management. And uh, I have a fan cover on her somewhere. There it is. And this is actually a 50 millimeter fan cover that goes down right here like that. Because I'm going to be running the uh, Tridamic 22 weights on this thing. So like I said, there's not a lot of videos about this thing. At least the specifics about this thing. So I thought I'd give it a shot see if I can get it going but one of the issues I had with the MKS board here is getting pulse width modulation to work right on my laser so I just it, because it, this thing was actually a 3d printer board but it, I actually had uh, a, a or dribble running on the thing so all um, right because this is a laser cutter I'm only gonna be using X and Y these are some Trinamic 2208 drivers I had from a previous 3d printer I pretty much have upgraded to 2209s on all my uh, computers or excuse me, printers, 3D printers, so I'm going to reuse these on my durable board. And they do work, they work with my other one, so. Alright, so I'm going to screw this into there. There you go. And there it is. So, I specifically, when I designed this box, uh, the limitations of the air box was there wasn't a wire management, so that's actually why I made those little wire management tabs. Um, because in my next build, the CNC build, we're gonna actually have an extra step or even more wire with the with the separate motors and end stops. Quick note, so if you're running this with a trinamic driver, these are 2208s. Uh, remove that last jumper or it's not gonna work. That's 16 uh, micro steps. All right, so like I said, there's no documentation on this, or little, very little. <laughs> At least I had the schematic, but what's weird is the two, they're, they're reversed. The Y1 and Y2, they're actually reversed. So I gotta figure out the wires here and uh, reverse them internally either on the motor or at the board. That actually makes sense though because each motor motor is actually going in a different direction. Alright, uh, since the logic's already reversed on the board, I originally had to go back and I reversed the wire to make it match on this right here. So I gotta go back and Put these wires back, flip them around so they go the right direction because they're already reversed in the board. All right, now I got the motors going the right way. Mm 
All right, so actually, by the way, I actually 3D printed this whole thing. All right, so I noticed that the actual laser output and the uh, spindle output are actually completely tied into the same traces. So they're both controlled by one MOSFET, and it's a ground trigger, not a positive trigger. So yeah, these two ports are connected together. All right, so I'm doing a test with my oscilloscope. And it's putting out about, what I wanted to see is variance. I wanted to check pulse width modulation. And I'm getting about one kilohertz. So, what I'm trying to figure out is this supposed to be a five volt output and I'm getting seven volt. So I'm trying to figure out what's up with that. So, and I'm also my laser, I can't, you don't, you, these Chinese lasers, you don't get any specs on them. So it's like, I don't know what the pulse width modulation setting or if the, uh, PDM input is 12 volt or 5 volt. So, all right, I want to make sure this laser actually works like it's supposed to. Pulse width modulation mode. So I have a little pulse width modulator, uh, pulse width modulation generator, and you just twist the knob and that can control the duty cycle. Um, it's wired in my laser, and then obviously I have a connect my oscilloscope here, so we can see when the laser turns on. So I'm during the dial up and you can see the intensity of the laser dropping down as I do that. But at the same time, I'll try to get it on the oscilloscope too. I'm going to move that over. Fix that. So you can see it on the oscilloscope. So what you're looking at is the actual the waveform here. See how the, the top and the bottom get bigger and bigger? I, the relationship to the top and the bottom. So that's 100%. Like I said, 1 kilohertz, 5 volt. And that's actually what the board is going to be sending is one kilohertz, five volt to control that laser. So as I'm twisting this, you can see the oscilloscope and the intensity. And as you can see on the oscilloscope, it changes with the uh, laser. All right, cool. Yeah, it's nice. This thing's pretty, pretty cheap. It's like 20 bucks. And I printed the box out. Definitely helps uh, for troubleshooting sensors and problems. All right, there it is. It's working. Cutting out a little anchor right there. All right, awesome. Cool little board. I mean, it's pretty amazing. It's under 20 bucks. But uh, put a link down below where you can get it. And uh, yeah, I'm running the Trinamics. All right, cool. Awesome.